right. Demo Man. Hmm. You know, a lot of people actually dislike Demo. I guess because of stickies. I mean, well, that kind of makes sense, because they're really not fun to play against, and, I don't know, it's kind of boring to just play with stickies, but... Demo mains, for the most part, are actually pretty chill. I mean, sure, like all classes, there are certain people who are just assholes. And it's my job to separate the assholes from the... not... assholes. Okay, this made sense in my head, I promise. Uh, anyway, please remember that stereotypes do not necessarily mean everybody, so don't go getting triggered if your hat stereotype is something negative. All right? All right, let's get started. This is the OG tryhard hat. And again, I'm not saying that in a bad way. When I say tryhard, I mean that they always try their hardest to win. And that will usually involve stickies, so not many people will like playing against these guys. But that being said, it's really hard not to respect a good Glengarry demo. He'll carry the shit out of you if he's on your team, but he'll destroy you if he's not. Well, there's a Quentin Tarantino joke to be made here somewhere. Not really sure what it is, though. One thing I did notice, though, is that these guys will tend to use the Sticky Jumper. And I don't blame them. Sticky Jumper is super fun. Yep, this is a pretty obvious one. Always uses the caber, no exceptions. I mean, I don't know. I'd make an unexpected jihad joke here, but that'd probably be in bad taste, so... This guy has godlike pipe aim. No, I mean, seriously. Like, triple air shot and overhealed soldier out of the sky level pipe aim. It's kind of nuts, actually. Yep, he's a demo knight. And he knows all the trim spots on every single map, so you can expect him to drop out of the sky with a giant-ass sword at any given moment. This hat is a classic war pig. For those of you who don't know, a war pig basically means that players wearing the hat overestimate their own skill, and they'll more often than not get themselves killed because of it. Now, I'm not saying that Scotch Bonnet demos are all bad, but they think they're way better than they actually are. Always uses the loose cannon. This guy has got double donks for days. Oh, is that? You're walking through a choke point? Donked. Walk around a corner? Donked. You're hiding in the spawn room? Well, I don't know how, but you're gonna get donked. This guy uses the lock and load, AKA the, I can't aim pills with stock, so I use the increased projectile speed of the lock and load as a crutch. Grenade launcher. Now, just to clarify, I have no issue with the lock and load being used for its intended purpose, which is destroying sentries, but it really, really bugs me when people use the lock and load in a situation where there aren't sentries. I mean, it does the same damage as stock against players, so you'd just be better off with stock. It's the very definition of a crutch. So you know those flogged pyros who will just tape down their left mouse button and walk at you? Well, this is the demo equivalent, but with the sticky launcher. And the right mouse button. I don't think I've ever seen a Hustler's Hallmark demo fire a sticky that he didn't detonate as soon as it was armed. Well, this used to be a tryhard hat, and I guess in some ways it still is. But one thing I've noticed about these demos is that they tend to be pretty chill as well. Like, he's the type of guy who will destroy you in an actual match, but then you'll want to go and grab a beer with him after all is said and done. I like these guys. Oh, this guy. This guy thinks he's God's gift to the TF2 community. I mean, I get that some people wear this hat ironically, but just, jeez, man. The ego on this guy could fill up that entire crater at the end of PL Frontier. This guy's pretty good with pipes, but, you know, he's also probably high right now, so... Yes, he does have a crit screeg up his ass 24-7, and yes, he is spamming stickies into your spawn right now. Ugh.
Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Well, a couple of things, actually. One, but Soundsmith, the bounty hat is all class. Why are you doing it on the demo video? You didn't do the team captain for Soldier. Well, this is a bit of a special case. See, people actually wear the team captain on Medic and Heavy, but nobody wears the bounty hat on anything except the demo man. So I'm doing it here. Okay, two. Now I actually need to explain this part first because I'm about to pull off the hardest read you have ever seen. Now, I'm actually recording this on October 19th, so one day before the Hat Stereotypes Pyro video goes up. And I guarantee you that somewhere in the comments, someone is gonna say something along the lines of, Oh, for the demo video, I bet he's just gonna do the bounty hat and the dangerous two and play ear rapey pan sounds and, and play play the demo pan music in the background. Wow, you're so you're so unoriginal. Oh, you just copy such and such YouTuber, blah 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 blah. Okay. Now if you're still hearing this, then that means I was right. Now, the stereotype is obviously demo pan. That's just how it is. There's not much I can do about that. But just for you, future commenter who wants me to be more original. I've done something a little bit special. If you want to hear the song without having to listen to me talk first, you can go check out the full track over on my music channel. Oh, and since you were so adamant about it being ear rape, I've included a free lossless audio codec or FLAC file for you to download. It's the audio equivalent of a 4K image, so basically the opposite of ear rape. I hope that was original enough for you. Oh, and one more thing. I know some of you are inevitably gonna say, Oh, but Soundsmith, how do we know you recorded this when you did? Can you prove it? And, man, I don't know. I, I, I just really wish that there was a way that I could show you, that I could just prove that, that I was actually recording this when I went, oh, wait! That's gonna do it for this episode. Again, sorry it took me so long to finish this one. That whole orchestral arrangement thing took me way longer than I thought it would. So, hopefully it was worth the wait. Now, if I missed your favorite hat this time around, make sure to let me know in the comments so that I can put it in the honorable mentions video at the end of this series. Oh, and also, quick reminder that Heavy is up next, so if there's a hat that you want to see for him, make sure to let me know that as well. Alrighty, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later.